This video will focus on taking accurate measurements. One key skill to develop for taking measurements is how to estimate the last significant digit. When taking a measurement, you report one significant figure more than the scale is marked. Let's assume that the scale on the board is in centimeters. When reading a measurement of an object, often it'll fall between the marks. The easiest way to estimate the area between the marks is to think of fractions. One half is the easiest fraction to see. This would be 0.5 centimeters, but rarely will an object be exactly halfway. If the arrow were to fall closer to a fourth of the way, this could be estimated as 0.2 centimeters. Then, if the arrow looks to fall three fourths of the way, we can say this is 0.8 centimeters. If the arrow is very close to a scale marking, but is not imperfectly in line with it like this arrow here, we can estimate the last digit to be 0.9. Therefore, this measurement is 1.9 centimeters. The scale we just looked at was marked every centimeter, so we estimated the first decimal place. The scale to the right has a mark at every 0.1 centimeter, so we will estimate to the second decimal place. The arrow can be seen to fall past the mark for 1.8 centimeters. We will estimate the second decimal place as 8, as it looks to fall 3 fourths of the way between 1.8 and 1.9 centimeters. Therefore, the arrow can be read at 1.88 8 centimeters. Now let's use a real ruler to measure a pencil in centimeters. The ruler has marks at every 0.1 centimeters, which is the first decimal place, so we will estimate to the second decimal place. The length of the pencil is 18.33 centimeters. Here we have a beaker. Beakers are a good way to measure liquid when you don't need to be exact. Beakers are also acceptable containers to mix and stir in. When measuring any liquid, it is important to get at eye level with the container. The liquid is seen to be at 50 milliliters. As you use beakers to get an approximate volume, you do not need to estimate the last significant digit. This is a graduated cylinder. The only use of a graduated cylinder is to measure the volume of a liquid. You may want to place a plain sheet of paper behind it so you can more easily read the marks. In the graduated cylinder, you can see the meniscus, or the curving of the liquid. Always measure the volume at the bottom of the meniscus. Do not forget to stay at eye level when measuring the liquid. The volume is marked at every milliliter, therefore we report to every 0.1 milliliter. The volume is 37.8 milliliters. When transferring a liquid into another container, some liquid is left behind in the original container. Therefore, do as few liquid transfers as possible once the liquid is measured. That way you don't lose any of your recorded volume. Measurements are simple, but if done incorrectly, they can have major effects upon the experiment's results. Therefore, Take your time to obtain accurate and precise measurements.